So we're going to take the limit as x goes to 0 of this function. Notice that I can't plug in 0. If I just plugged in 0, right here and here, I would, have, I would be dividing by 0. In fact, I'd have 0 divided by 0, which I can't do. So, um, so I can't just plug in the value. It would be nice if I could, because then that would be the answer. But I can't. So I have to do a little algebraic manipulation. And the trick here is to multiply the top and bottom by the complex conjugate, or the conjugate of the top, which is just change this symbol right here. If it was a minus, make it a plus. If it was a plus, make it a minus. But remember, I have to do that on the bottom as well, because I can't just multiply something. I have to multiply the top and bottom by the same thing. And the beauty of that, when I do that, remember, when you're doing, when you, when you multiply something, these two things are going to multiply together and it's going to get rid of your, it's going to square it. In other words, it's going to get rid of the square root sign. And same with these two things. It's going to make it a minus 2 because square root of 2 squared is 2. And then in the middle here, I'm going to have um, a minus the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 plus x. And then I'm going to have a plus the square root of 2 times the square root of 2 plus x, which are going to cancel each other out. So all I have left is this right here. And these cancel out. And so my numerator is simply x, which is really nice. Now on the bottom, I don't want to multiply this in. Don't multiply the x in. So on the bottom, I'm going to get x times that conjugate, which was 2 plus x plus root 2. And now you'll see that the x's cancel out. Remember, it cancels to 1. So I have a 1 on the top, and I have a root 2 plus x on the bottom plus root 2. And now, the limit of that, I can plug in the 0. Because when I plug in 0, now I just get 1 over the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2. And the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 is 2 square root of 2. There's your answer.